against dumping from some countries. We believe that uh, the Chinese are dumping textiles on us, and I think we need some kind of protection at least for a few years. I think the, the economy has, um, as you know, come through a recession um, strongly. I know that uh, that has also been a function of the increase in the oil price. But if we look at some of the um, successes in this early stage uh, out of the implementation of the economic recovery and growth plan, um, I believe that the country is on the right track and uh, if the plan is implemented properly there's no doubt that Nigeria's economy will be more resilient. The real challenge of getting investors, particularly to be honest from the United States, getting investors from uh, the US to come here is, and, and, and invest, it's a big one. But it's getting them here and getting past that initial Scare, because you, and you know that there's all this uh, scammers <laughs> sending their emails and things to people. I get three a week from people, and you know it's some guy in an internet cafe in Nigeria or Ghana <laughs> most of the time. And you get these things, even small things like that, as silly as they are, some people get unnerved by them. I think it would be helpful if the government had done some sort of document highlighting the steps and processes of successful businesses who've came to Nigeria and set up. So, you know, case studies of large international companies, Siemens, ourselves, there's great big companies here who trade successfully. And the only reason other companies are not coming here is because of the unknown. So if you're able to invest when the oil prices are uh, so at some point, you know, so 50 and 60, if you're able to invest more than when oil prices were like 110 and 114, especially in infrastructure and capital, then surely anyone who says that uh, there's something wrong with that, uh, my respect for you is that there are people. Some of the challenges, uh, one of them I will consider the infrastructure. So because for, for the economic growth to, to be there, we need to be able to have good infrastructure in place. And then the other, th the other key thing is leveraging on technology. There's been a lot that is happening around the world around technology. And if I compare large economies, um, which are fairly similar to Nigeria, if you look at China, if you look at India, they've been able to leverage on technology to steer economic growth. The third thing is really to really tap into the Nigerian people, yeah? Uh, they have very good natural abilities. They're quite aggressive, they're quite smart. So how do you tap into these people so that they don't go outside Nigeria but stay within, make, make the conditions good for them to stay within and steer the growth that Nigeria deserves to have by now.